And we figured out what movie it was. And just Steve had to... Blum was in this fucking movie. What character? I need Doesn't to see what so bad character now, he does it? voiced. There's Steve no picture Blum, of this why character. Have I heard of him? Hmm. Uh, he's done. He's done voices before. Oh yeah, Steve Blum has. Oh, hey, War. Sweet. Yeah. Are we recording? I assume yes, we are. we are. Oh, sweet. This is awesome. He was, um, he was Neon White in Neon White. Oh, yeah. Steve Blum. Which is another game we need to play. We, I've been wanting to play we it for a while. We don't gotta do shit. <laughs> I want to, I want to stream me retaking the records. I want to do it so bad. And do it. But the series has to go up first, you don't understand. Okay then, let's do the fucking series! Alright. I mean, literally, right now would be the best time. Alfred just did like a competition thing. Yeah, he stole our idea. It's fucked up. Literally. It was actually literally, <laughs> literally our idea for the longest time. And then we did not act on it. So good. That game is actually so good though. I I'm glad it's getting more attention. YouTube yeah. would be a barren wasteland of content if we actually acted out on things that we wanted to do. Everyone should really be thankful. Yeah. We could have a monopoly. We yeah, could just be, be unstoppable us. if it wasn't for being lazy <laughs> and overworked. Also just being lazy with me at least. Oh, fuck, I think I'm yeah, gonna to just be lose fair, this uh, these, So they've, they basically just like cut my hours, like I was doing four days the past couple weeks. And I was like, whatever, I can use a break, I don't care. And then this week... Uh, and then, well actually first, last week... Yep, there lost. was one day when I was supposed to work the Saturday night, which is like usually the busiest night. Uh, by myself, and I woke up in the, like, way early in the morning and I'm like... I can't go back to sleep. Uh, I'm sick. Yeah, I just I just told him. I just was like, fuck it. And then next week I got three days lol. <laughs> so. <laughs> Better not be sick. I just told him to keep me three days. I was like, just keep me three days. I'll find something else. Yeah, because I'm not doing that one. That one seems way too hard for me, unfortunately. <gasps> Halloween level. Oh god, he has Is the other one required, or...? Yes, I think I'm gonna have to go through all the levels and perfect them if I want to finish the game. Unironically. Wizard. Do you think what? I'm gonna have to go through all the levels and make sure I actually complete them. Like oh, get all the anything? ingredients. I see. If I want to get to the next one. Which I'm not looking forward to. I mean, this is a good game all in all, but like, I just, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is like a Pac-Man upgrade he gave you. Yeah, kind of. I wonder if that's a game theory, is like what those power pellets the Pac-Man gets are, since they allow you to defeat ghosts. Haha, <laughs> drugs, haha? Huh? Shut up. <laughs> oh yeah! Uh, new, um... Oh god, what's that one game that we played? That I really fucked up? Uh, I mean, there's a lot, I know. I don't... Yeah, be more specific? Everhood! There's a sequel to it coming out. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it looks actually really good. Do I have the files for Everhood. Yeah, I uploaded them. I just fucked it up like really bad, I think, if I remember correctly. Also, Nintendo did a thing, was it today? And, hey, Snake's Revenge Chad, stay winning. What, yes. what did they do today? Snake, uh, Nintendo is porting up to Metal Gear Solid 3 
to the Switch. Ah. Uh. Uh, so we have Metal Gear 1, I think the MSX and NES versions. Mm hmm. And Snake's Revenge and Metal Gear 2. Yes, Snake's Revenge. <laughs> yes. Should be fun. I I'm actually looking forward to that. I've. Still glad I did it my way. That's so really funny space that. Space. Uh, this is probably the first time that Metal Gear Solid, the first one, uh, will be available to play on something that like isn't not the original hardware. Y yeah, or Twin Snakes. Yeah, I'm looking yeah, forward to it. Cool. Also, Pikmin Four shit. I'm happy about that. I like Pikmin. Even though I could never play it when I was younger. I think, uh... I think Metal Gear Solid 1 is technically on PS3 and that, uh, the PS3's HD collection. But I could be wrong. But yeah, it's been a while since that game has been playable in, like, any capacity. It's pretty sweet. I am all for it. Uh, what else were the big things? Mario RPG is getting a remaster. Remake. Oh, really? Yep. Well, I mean, they did retire the RPG part from uh, Paper Mario, and so <laughs> they need another Mario RPG, so that fills the gap. And then uh, Peach is going to get a game, but I don't think it's going to be a remake of the old one. I uh, is she still to going one. to get powers by being very angry by or being very sad? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does she still gain her powers from being very emotional, unlike Mario, who is a stoic? Uh, it, it looks like <laughs> it looks like she's just going to have different powers, or maybe they're just having a new take on it, it looks like. Yeah. From what I can see, she's Sailor Moon now, so... <laughs> also, Elephant Mario... Elephant Mario? Elephant Mario. What does that mean? Sorry you had to find out about it this way. I'm going to type in Elephant Mario. Uh, and Charlie... Why did you have to tell them about Elephant oh, Mario? no. Some people don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> we don't talk about Elephant Mario. Oh, no. Well, you know what the worst part is? What? There's going to be a Daisy and a, like, uh... Uh... Princess Peach version of that, too. I, <laughs> I, I. Yeah, you could have gone your entire life without knowing that. Yeah, we're no, gonna move uh, on. I have a sadistic smile on my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that news made some people happy. I'm sure. <laughs> Not me, but some people. I can't even uh, take I do like that they, that they're doing a different art style. No, I do too. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah. Because uh, I, I liked... I mean, I liked the like new Super Mario Bros. Like the That sort of art style they stuck with a while, for a while since the, the DS and like Wii versions of that game. But it's cool to see them do something a little different. Yeah, it looks like they'll have a couple new ideas to go with. I kind of don't care in general, but at least from what I see, if people do care, looks like they'll be getting something out of it. <laughs> True. <laughs> they all, they'll always have Elephant to come back to. Uh. You remember when Nintendo made that tweet of Cat Mario that said, Meow, meow, there's nothing better feeling than being inside a cat being the in, the inside of a cat yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember, remember wicker that? wednesday i do <laughs> i do remember that i survived wigger wednesday <laughs> pizza time nintendo is of america has made some wild tweets i i love them and it's always <laughs> funny when the screen cap of the tweet has the uh this tweet has been deleted Disclaimer on it. <laughs> yeah. That always makes it just a little bit better. 
Wasn't the response to the Wigger Wednesday one just like, wow, that was kind of weird, huh? <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm not Somebody sure. Somebody got fired for that, didn't they? I'm I'm not sure. I should uh I should look into the the response to that. <laughs> Wednesday Nintendo Twitter apology. Which, by the way, regarding the cat comment, um, I saw someone say they had a picture of, what was it? What's the Lion King lioness name? Nala? Yeah. It, it was just a picture of Nala, like, looking at someone else. And they said they know what we're, they were doing with this one. No! And then someone said, dude, that's not even Anthro, that's just a fucking animal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, apparently people want to fuck Bambi's dad. I... I don't even remember what that character looks like. Also, White would not. Woman. Either way. Uh, it, regardless... Regardless of that. I thought it was just Bambi's mom that died in that movie. No, it was. No. Oh. I don't remember it at all, so... Oh, they said it was... Nintendo said it was a typo, because they forgot the L to make it Wiggler Wednesday. Oh, no, it was. It was absolutely yeah. a typo. That's that's all their their clarification was. They, there was no other... Uh... <laughs> it says, when tweeting about one of our characters, we missed a letter. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I knew it was something like, oops, that was kind of weird. <laughs> Sorry, we let our demons out of it there. <laughs> oh, hey, it's them. Yeah. It's Guy and Rat. Animatronic. Finyas! Yeah, this is the... This is the part that made all those people. Happy who thought this game was, uh, All the people who thought this game was FNAF, this uh, validated them. <laughs> happy birthday! Type happy birthday in the comments. Don't make a sound. I think the bit was funnier Don't before make a sound. I knew. Because uh, before. This is a bit weird, isn't it? It was funnier when. <laughs> The Five Nights at Freddy's thing. That was funnier when I didn't know about the animatronics. I thought it was just because it was pizza. <laughs> well, the people who thought it was uh, FNAF never got this far, to be fair. So, like, they never... That's true. They didn't have this or this validation. So it was just pizza? Yeah, it was just because pizza. This level is actually really cool. Oh, it is, it is. Whenever I go to Papa John's, I ask if I can see Freddy. <laughs> Do you guys have an animatronic band in the back? Sir, this is a family owned I've got bad news Italian if you do. establishment. Oh my oh, god, jump, jump scare. scare. Uh sorry my mic clipped because I was so loud. <laughs> yeah, this is a stealth mission. But also this it's is not. a sneaking mission, Snake. It it is but also, if you're going fast enough, the thing can't catch you, so... <laughs> and you can also <laughs> kill them before they alert. There's some really Jeez. cool things in the background, but it's sometimes hard to see them because of how fast you go. Mainly this was true in the last... Yeah. Now it's irrelevant because it's a still frame, but... In the last room it was different. Oh, buddy, you got deflated. Oh. Am 
No, no, no. <laughs> okay, I I looked back at my screen to close the tab when I pulled up uh, the the Wiggler Wednesday. I have to I have to say it, you know, pr it's pronounced to know that I let Not the people racist. know I I'm an ally or whatever. Uh, and I I went to close out and I noticed the result below the one that I was looking at is uh www.mariowiki.com forward slash list of controversies oh no <laughs> the following list consists of details regarding all major controversies relating to the super mario franchise implied themes 1.1 a transgender portrayal Birdo. yeah <laughs> i was yeah. gonna Birdo was the first one i thought of yeah it, it is alberto's also literally chronologically the first i'm pretty sure like other than if you count uh the lawsuit over the original jump man as a controversy lawsuits, yeah <laughs> i i don't consider it a controversy when it's a, a legal case that's the that's that's like doesn't saying that make it like yeah. the definition of a controversy no i mean it just it has the same feeling of someone being like oh this person got canceled when it's like they, they committed a crime got convicted of being like convicted and tried for being a pedophile yeah, it's I like that's not a cancellation or a controversy that's that's it's a bit serving further. of justice <laughs> yeah there's there's a bit a few that's the resolving of an issue just a few degrees uh, of severity more than controversy yeah this level is a bit annoying i'm not going to try and hide it Thank God. <laughs> Fuck off. I like that the music goes with your feet on this one, but sometimes it's uh there's a lot of jumps, so it's a little weird. Mm. Yeah. yeah. The fucking Itami! What other funny, uh... What other, what other funny little... Funny little guys. Are... Funny little controversies has Mario gotten involved in? Being communist. Might Unlikely. be. Unlikely. Oh no, there's Hotel Mario. Sorry, no, he's not communist. <laughs> I like that. That's the specific uh, qualifier. Uh, now we've mm. seen how the how the Mushroom Kingdom is ran in the Mario and Luigi games. It's they're a monarchy. <laughs> uh, a cult. Nice, you got it. Oh, it's because Ashley's theme. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lol, Lamau. Imagine being scared Does of that a little girl. Does that include all the Donkey Kong ones, then? Huh? If there's any Donkey Kong ones, do you think they're included in that? In the m list of Mario controversies? Uh, Donkey Kong returns 3D promo actor lawsuit. So, yes. What is that? Now I'm curious. It's Nintendo organized a promotional event in the Los Angeles Zoo, which, among other things, included a meet and greet with a costumed Donkey Kong. The actor Parker gorilla. Mills sued Nintendo on December 2nd, 2014. Mills alleged that he was improperly supervised, not being allowed breaks or given refreshments for the duration of the event. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. The suits Donkey are Kong. fucking hot. Like, yeah. No, they are actually just terrible. Uh, he actually did? Terrible. What, he... he he claims that the resulting stress caused uh, an aortic desertion, which required surgery to install a small permanent heart defibrillator. 
Huh. Oh god, that's that's, that's uh weird. whether or not that happened because of the suit thing, I feel bad for you. That's yeah. that's awful. Huh. <laughs> Actor Michael, and then I won't even try and pronounce his last name, who also played Donkey Kong for a promotional event in Culver City, California Mall, uh, also sued for similar reasons. God, Nintendo, Kong. Kong. It's not everyone who puts on that, that funny monkey suit, they just Their heart they never goes. come out the same. <laughs> Chinese government controversy? What? What? Nintendo, what did you do to the Chinese government? In 2019, the Chinese government made a political video game using some assets from Super Mario Bros. I'm not even surprised. Oh, sorry, a political game video, not video game. What? Uh, what do you yeah. mean? Like, they probably, they used game assets to make, like, uh, like a, a video, like a political video. Yeah, but what does the game part mean? Like, they probably just, I mean, I'll get there, but they probably just, like, made funny Mario jump on things. Throughout the video, there is symbolism of corrupt government officials, copyright infringement, and equality. What, what do you mean, equality? <laughs> We don't Why like should... equality here. There's symbols of equality. <laughs> that that just feels like a weird one to throw. Like, corrupt symbolism of corrupt government officials, which is strange that the government made a video about that, but sure, like, they want to weed people out of the party that dissent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, copyright infringement. Yeah, you know, that's a basic one. Governments love their copyright. Uh, and e But the equality one. Why is hmm. that one thrown in? What does that mean? A figure resembling Mario has to collect colored boxes and get to the end of the level. So it's not even... It says resembling. It's not even... Okay. But I don't... I mean, like, whatever. Oh, did you see the, um... Speaking of, like, a figure resembling whatever... I think it's California's uh, rail system. All of their trains now have, like, anime avatars. Why? Uh, as, a, as, like, a marketing thing. Because they want more people to ride the... Because, like, the West Coast has, like, a really good rail system. Like, but nobody fucking anywhere... uses it? Yeah, like, they're... Compared to the rest of America, at least, it's, it's very good. It's very expansive. Uh, you can... Like, if you're anywhere in, like, Oregon or Washington or central to north California, uh, you can get, like, weekend passes that just let you ride that whole area for, like, I don't know how much it is. I don't remember. But it's, like, really cheap. Jesus, why does and nobody use just... that shit? Yeah, and th so they did, like, a marketing campaign where they, like, basically they made each train, like, a waifu slash husbando. Yeah, uh, you would know what that is. Coming from you? <laughs> Who has to be mean? <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so like all the trains have a have an avatar now, and I think it's like in partnership with some wildlife conservation thing. Oh, good for them! So like they all have like an animal theme. Like there's this one girl who has like an owl. Like she's not like an owl girl. She just has an owl. Oh. Huh. Like I'm gonna get killed here. No choice. Bay Area Rapid Transit is the hold up. Post it in here. Specific rail system. I will. Don't worry. Let me find a nice high quality. Okay, mission. hold up. We need to do a tier list of this now. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I kind of like the. I need to know lot. if your fucking wife is if your train wife is trash or not. One gun, two, gun. Now you can kill them. Three. <laughs> I never saw these promotional arts. These are these are good. 
I'll put them all on screen for the viewers, and then I'll make I'll put a tier list on screen as we're going through. Yes. Okay. No, we have to. That One, ha as soon as I'm done with this level, that's what we're doing. Two. There's four of them. Okay. Three. Four. Oh, okay. Well, I killed them. God, nobody could beat a fucking gun, can they? That is kind yeah. of OP, guys. Oh, it's something funny about... Uh, oh, yeah, shit! I, no, I've talked about gun. this on an episode, haven't I? What? Damn it. I was going to talk about how, um, you know, crossbows were illegal. Like, very frowned upon in, like, the early uh, days. Like, you know? No. Oh, cool, I get to talk about this. Um, basically, crossbows were very looked down upon by the, like, Vatican and people like that in the medieval era. Because they were so partially... Okay, for one, it was so easy to kill with. Like, you could literally... <laughs> like, any... It's like the shotgun of the day. Like, any... Because they required be, zero skill. <laughs> no, literally, they didn't. You like any hillbilly could have just like cocked one up and just like killed anybody, and so like a lot of the rich people were very angry about that because it was like, okay, so literally anybody they want like could kill us, and that to the rich people was like of course really bad because you don't want to have like all these people just like any peasant be able to kill you so easily. That's the issue. And so the Vatican actually said, like, look, you should not use a crossbow. If you use a crossbow, you're going to hell. Like, they literally said that just so that because, like, <laughs> it was so, the so exception, easily. The exception is made as if you shoot, like, essentially an infidel with a crossbow. Yes, exactly. Like, if you shoot anybody other than a good, willing Christian with a crossbow, you're fine. I feel like I told you guys about this. No, I, I, I think... We both might have learned about this. Anyways, I'm taking credit for viewers. it. Anyways. Yeah, you oh, right. did, because I remember. I, I remember, because I was like, when do you guys think crossbows were made? And you said it was in the 1700s. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm wrong. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uh, asked. Well, okay, now that you guys have figured it out, uh, when he asked about it, I totally remembered the whole conversation. I just wanted him to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. Uh, you're my favorite Let's Player. <laughs> All right, tier list. Um, S tier. Uh, B tier. Oh, yeah. C tier. Oh, yeah. I, C, -tier. yeah. C tier, B tier, A tier, S tier. Yeah. All right. Oh, you can put that in order. any order you want. Have fun. <laughs> I do not care. That's the episode. Bye.